Hi everyone. In today's video, we'll try to code a convolution neural net and a vision transformer, and we'll test both the neural nets on the same dataset. I also have my handwritten notes just to explain the architecture of the both neural nets. So let's uh, start coding. In the beginning, I would like to acknowledge the help of these two references. The first one is a PyTorch tutorial where I borrowed the scene and code from. And the second reference is a PyTorch lightning tutorial. I borrowed the vision transformer code from this tutorial. Here are the main references for the uh, convolution neural net and uh, vision transformer. Some libraries. And I'm setting some uh, parameters here. For example, the start and end timers to, uh, to just to time the execution time for the, for the CNN and uh, vision transformer. Here I'm importing the CIFAR dataset and I'm, uh, I'm splitting the training dataset to 40,000 samples will go to the train set and 10,000 samples will go to the validation set. And the test set will have 10,000 samples. And I'm setting the training loader, the validation loader, and the test loader. In this cell, I'm printing the shape for each data loader. So for example, the training data loader has 40,000 samples, and the first batch has 32 samples, each of which is 32 by 32, and three channels, the RGB channel. And the labels have uh, 32 samples. The validation loader has 10,000 uh, 10, samples, and the test loader has 10,000 uh, 10, samples. Let's uh, visualize some uh, samples from the uh, CIFAR dataset. From the validation loader, I'm taking uh, the first batch from the validation loader. Then I'm only selecting four images with, uh, with their associated labels. Then I'm using uh, Torch Vision Make Grid to plot the, these four uh, images. And these four images are track cat, plane, and horse for the convolution neural net. Up here, we are defining the layers. And in the forward function, we are defining how the data flows inside the network. I got a bit of visualization for this architecture in my notes. So the input is 32 pixels by 32 pixels for a color image. Color image got three, three channels, RGB channels. The first convolution network takes three parameters, three, six, and five, as you can see here. So the, the three is the input channel, which is three. Six is the output channel. We want six channels in the output, and the five is the filter size. The filter. So if we got a five by five filter, and we pass it through a 32 by 32 image, there are only 28 unique locations that this filter size can take values from. So we got six of these, six filter maps, and we are stacking these together to create a 22, 28 by 28 by six uh, tensor. So this is the output of them from, from the first convolution layer. Then we are passing this convolution layer through a max. Uh, as you can see here, we're passing it through a max pool function. This max pool function will downsample the image we got by two. So it, instead of 28 by 28, we'll get a 14 by 14, and the third dimension will, will stay untouched. The convolution layer got uh, six, input, uh, six channels as the input, and it needs 16 channels at the output, and the filter size is five. So if you pass a five by five filter, across a 14 by 14 image, there are only 10 by 10 unique locations that we can take values from. And we need 16 filter maps, and we're stacking these to get, to, together to create a 10 by 10 by 16 tensor. Then we're passing this through a max pool. This will downsample the, our image into, by, uh, by half, so we'll end up with 5 by 5 by 16 tensor. Start feeding that into the fully connected layer. So the, the input with size 400 
got fed into a size a layer of size 120 uh, then to 84 all the way to the number of classes which is 10. so this is the architecture for the cnn then here we're defining the model to be a, a cnn class and we're transferring it to the gpu we're defining the loss to be a cross entropy loss and uh, we're using atom optimizer uh, for the parameters here is the architecture for our model here is our CNN training loop. We're defining two lists to store the validation and training losses. And we're, try, we're defining two variables to hold the, the, the average loss. So I'm running the training for 20 epochs, and I got a very good reason for that. If I go beyond 20 epochs, Google Collab will kick me out. Uh, that's why it, I, I picked 20 epochs. Uh, now we are, we, so we are iterating over the training loader we are setting the model to train. We're taking the images and labels uh, from the training loader and we're uh, transferring them to the GPU. Uh, we're, we're getting the predictions from the model and we're evaluating the predictions uh, using the criteria, the cross entropy loss. Uh, we're, adding, we're adding the loss to the average and we're setting, when, and then we're evaluating the model over the uh, validation loader. Here we're just storing the values to a list for plotting. Here is here is the here is the, the the training, and here is the plot for the training and validation loss. Test if we test the CNN model over the test loader, we will get sixty one uh, accuracy. We look at uh, vision transformer training. First, we're defining some parameters, and this is a helper function to split the image into batches. Now here is a visualization for the function using the the examples that we shown at the beginning of the notebook. So we got a 32 by 32 pixels, and if we have a batch size of eight. Basically, we're get, we, ha, we, we got uh, uh, 16 patches for each image in our data set. So each image in our data set will be split into, 15, into 16 patches, and we're feeding that to the uh, transformer. The transformer architecture has an attention block that goes inside a vision transformer. So, so here is the forward function for the vision transformer. Some data preparation, then we are running the transformer. I got a bit of visualization in my notes. So a single batch in our vision transformer got 32 images, each of which has a 32 by 32 pixels by three channels. Put these images into patches. We got 32 images and we're flattening the, the patches. So each patch is eight by eight by three. So if we flatten these values, we will get 192 values and we if we got we got 16 of these for each patch if we stack these together we will get a 32 by 192 by 16 tensor we're feeding that tensor to the input layer here we're feeding that tensor to the input layer to get the in the embedding dimensions which we are setting to 156 so we are choosing this value 256. Then we are concatenating the class token to the batch dimension. So instead of 16, we got 17, which the, the, the first one is the class token. Then we're adding the position, the positional embeddings, and this shouldn't change the, 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 the shape of our tensor, just we're adding values. So the, and this is the attention plot. So we're feeding, we're feeding at 32 by 256 by 17 tensor to the, to the attention plot. Then this tensor got fit into eight heads of attention where it serves as a key, key and value here in the code. So the same input to the transformer serves as the query key value using the multi-headed attention from the PyTorch. 
and these eight heads will produce uh, the same size 32 by 256 by 17 tensor and this got fed into a, a linear layer to get the hidden dimensions which we set to 768 here so we're we're feeding the embedded uh, we're feeding we're feeding at the linear layer the a tensor with the size of the embedding dimension to get the hidden dimension it passes through some nonlinearity and drop out then we transfer it back to the embedding dimension here seven, so 768 some nonlinearity it won't change the tensor then we're getting back to the 100 to uh, 256 and this attention block is repeated for six layers as you can see here in the code here so this attention block is repeated for six layers I got a printout of the model so this is the first attention block the second third fourth fifth and sixth after that we are fa we're, uh, we're getting a tensor of size 32 by 256 by 17 and we're feeding it to a fully connected layer to get the number of classes which is 10 just like seen in training we are defining two lists for uh, plotting the loss after after training the model on the validation set here is the the training for the for the vision transformer and here is the loss for training and for validation if we test the vision transformer we get 58 percent point five for the this data set and here i'm showing the accuracy and time in seconds for both models the cnn got 50 uh, got a 61 accuracy and uh, vision transformer got 58 cnn requires 350 seconds to finish training while vision transformer requires almost 700 seconds to finish training my final remarks on these two models i'm not showing which model is the best i'm showing how the data flows inside both architectures how are we getting from 32 by 32 pixels all the way to 10 classes so this is this is what i'm showing in this tutorial i guess that's it guys for today's video you can find the notebook i'm working on in the description below please like and subscribe and leave a comment below it really helps thanks for watching bye